So Holly McNish, hello. Shall we high five? Woo! Woo! <laughs> Uh, happy International Women's Day, Holly McNish. Ah, oh, happy International Women's Day to you. <laughs> we are here to talk about reclaiming and reconnecting, which is the theme of POW for 2022. So I had I had five <laughs> five of my self care tips. I think they're quite basic. Uh, the first one was to sleep, mm. if you can. The thing that my mum always said which really helped me and it helped me loads as a parent telling my kids that whenever she said when people tell somebody to go to sleep it's so unhelpful because it puts this pressure on the idea of sleeping so she always used to say to me like resting is like really really almost as good as actually sleeping so if you lie in bed with your eyes closed doing nothing this is like almost the same as sleeping so don't like stress about going to sleep so I never said to my kids okay you have to go to sleep now I said like you've got to go to bed now and rest nice okay so my first tip for you um is probably going to be deemed a little bit more kind of alternative and does actually cost money which I know is annoying when you're talking about self-care tips it's acupuncture which I absolutely love and have done for so many years and I think if you look at acupuncture as something which is actually a, like a medicine, it's, a, it's, a, it's something you have to train to be able to do. And in the Eastern world, if you go to China, for example, if you go to the doctor with something that hurts, you will most likely be uh, prescribed something Western as well as something Eastern. And acupuncture is a is a really commonplace thing oh, wow. to use as a complementary to whatever antibiotics or kind of more normalized Western way of healing or recovery or or you know medication. Yeah, and I've, and I've used it throughout the years. Particularly, actually, I wasn't a new parent, but I was on early breakfast radio for two years. I did yeah. the breakfast show on Radio One which meant that I was on air from four till 6.30 a.m. I just had an extra dollop of awakeness where I had to do a live show and then had a normal day. And it was insane. Like I, I cried all the time. Oh. And regular acupuncture is where I found like a place to learn how to rest actually and to lie down. Like what Well, you <laughs> that's amazing. I have never, I've never tried acupuncture. So my tip is to buy a massive dressing gown. Oh. And that might sound really silly, but I genuinely think it like cheers me up all the time. I'm also quite stingy with heating and heating is quite expensive. So I actually have like, like a guest dressing gown, which my <laughs> friends love putting on when they come around. And that's probably because I basically don't want to have the heat on as much as other people, because it's also not very good for the planet, but it's also expensive. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my second tip actually it's a bit more of a feeling and emotion but something that I think that we could do better uh, if we are women um, and that is not to beat ourselves up I think if you just release into whatever it is that you need and like to take away a bit of the guilt and the shame or the outrage of how unfair everything is um, I think that you can actually have like a bit of a better time all right, this next one is learn how to masturbate really well. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, I genuinely think if we weren't so prudish and it wasn't seen as such a sin in many ways, like that would be prescribed in a lot of the wellness stuff because yes. it's so free and it's so good to learn how to do it. Yeah. Um, and I feel like getting to know your own body at whatever age. Um, and a lot of people I know are just doing that in their 30s or 40s or even 50s so I feel like that is very important and also this sounds a bit like an anti-capitalist masturbation like thing but I feel like in a way I'm really it's glad to be anti-capitalist well it is very anti-capitalist isn't it yeah. <laughs> like, I, myself. Yeah. I feel like there's loads <laughs> at the moment oh, oh, my dog's going crazy <laughs> so there, I guess the reason I said that it's just because I feel like there's loads of talk now about female pleasure, but it seems to continuously now be combined with products. So like there's loads more talk about vibrators and stuff, which is great on one side, but I also think on the other side, we're sort of capitalizing on this like female pleasure thing. So the next one is 
quite like earthy, I guess, but reconnecting with the earth through food. And one of the things when I'm really needing that self-care element of food, it goes back to food that's grown on the earth <laughs> and really <laughs> amazing, like simple things that can just be good overall for your health and therefore your mind. So for example, getting like fresh turmeric or fresh ginger root and just grating it up and yeah. like putting it in a potion. Like we need to create more tonics and potions for ourselves and let the like actual nature and the land give it to us because Mother Earth has got our back. That's so similar to my one. My next one was make soup. I just love it. And I feel like that because I love, I love cooking. And again, I love cooking, I think, because I only ever have to cook for myself or one other person. Um, I'm not sure if I had, you know, a family of six, I'd, I'd love it every day. <laughs> but I love making a massive, I just love making a massive pot of soup. I'm quite finicky about it, though, because I only like it being like one colour soup normally, unless it's like scotch broth. Is that part of the your self-care routine? <laughs> Do you feel like the people are now going to have to have just like one colour soup? I think the flavours work better. I think the herbs that are the same colour seem to work better with the thing. Mother Nature's speaking to you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm on number four. Yeah, you're on four. And that is playing with temperature. So obviously mm. there's a huge trend to go cold water swimming. I know that this is for POW, so a lot of people will already have fallen in love with the sea in the same way that I did when I moved to Thanet six years ago. I just became genuinely obsessed. I had a love affair with cold water swimming and the sea and its mood, like the sea's mood changing all the time. Yeah. It made me put things into perspective, the chill of it on my bones and training myself like to just get the thrill of endorphins without feeling scared. Yeah, I just loved it. But I think that that can be played with throughout your life. So I no longer live in Thanet and I'm not as close to the sea. Yeah. And um, though I miss like having that interaction with it, I've now just signed up to the local Turkish baths, which are part of a ledge center. Yeah. So it's cheap and like, we're making it a ritual, like me and my boyfriend, just to go at least once a week my final tip is to do something for somebody else. And I feel like there are certain people, and I guess, again, as a like, a, or a carer, if you're a carer or, or whatever, any sort of caring thing, sometimes people do it too much and forget about themselves. And you see that a lot. But sometimes I think, I don't want to think about myself today. I always have a pack of postcards in my cupboards. So if I'm in a bad mood, I, I try to write somebody a postcard just to say, hi how are you doing because I feel like if you're like not I don't know if you're just a bit down it's likely someone else that you know probably is as well I love it and it's not too dissimilar to my final self-care tip of something that I think is so important is I think it's just being around other women oh, yeah. um so in terms of just like the connection and like social reclaiming um I think yeah it's 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 something that I've realized is a real healer for me whenever I'm really low. It's to reach out, sit amongst, talk to, or like quite specifically get together with other women. And, and yeah. I don't know what it is, it's a magic. We're very powerful. I think so, <laughs> I agree. Thank you so much. Have an amazing International Women's Day. Everyone watching, thank you.